Hey, Treasure Fan, Joe Pal, Big D back here with another week news announcement. And this is for the 24th of March. We're almost at the end of March already. So those of you who do this channel, I like to do every week on Mondays. I post this video where I talk about what's coming out on Blu-ray and DVD this week. Blu-ray and DVD next week. Anything majorly announced in uh, Blu-ray or DVD over the course of the last week. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different in that... Um, I'm going to go over that, but I'm also going to go a couple things. I'm going to do to change the channel for a while while we're going through all this virus stuff. But let's get started with what's coming out. Um, so tomorrow is a very small release day. There's not a whole lot coming out. There's only one major title, then a couple other smaller titles sprinkled throughout. The biggest, the big title tomorrow is 1917. Obviously comes out on Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K tomorrow. Best Buy will have an exclusive steelbook, which I already pre-ordered. And I'm going to stop right there and tell you a little bit of something about Best Buy's new policies. So I pre-ordered this steelbook, oh, about two weeks ago, because I wanted to make sure I got it. I started seeing this virus stuff come down. I was like, I got worried, so I wanted to make sure I got it just in case. So I, got, I did in-store pickup, because it wasn't letting me ship to my house for some reason. So I did in-store pickup. I got an email from Best Buy two days ago that stated that um, I can still pick my movie up, but the store is closed. So the way I have to do it is I'm going to drive up to Best Buy. I'm going to call them up to know I'm here. I'm going to pop my trunk. They're going to run the, the item out. They're going to look at my receipt on my phone through the window. They're going to put my item in the trunk, leave, and I'm supposed to go back and close my trunk. Sounds a little bit weird. Almost kind of sounds like a, a, a drug deal going down, but I totally get it. I'm totally on board with it. It just feels weird. In this day and age, there's a lot of weird stuff going on right now, and that just feels really weird. But I totally understand it, and I don't have a problem with it. It just feels weird. But with that being said, so 1917 comes out tomorrow. Um, Shout Factor is releasing April Fool's Day, which I showed you guys because I already got it. Um, they're also releasing The Wizard with Fred Savage tomorrow. Oh, the other title coming out tomorrow, I forgot about this, is The Grudge, which is the remake of the remake. Um, this one has, uh, oh my gosh, uh, John Cho in it. Um, I haven't seen it. It didn't last in the theaters around my area very long, So, but it is coming out tomorrow on Blu-ray and DVD. There's no 4K. Also, Shout Factor is releasing tomorrow uh, Frankenstein, The True Story. And Arrow is releasing tomorrow uh, Beyond the Door. That is it. There is nothing else coming out. Um, let's talk about a little bit about um, next week. So next week, the 31st, the last day of the month. Obviously, the big title that day is Star Wars, um, The Rise of Skywalker. On that same day, we're getting all the other Star Wars movies that have been available on uh, 4K yet are all coming out in 4K. So episodes 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven. They're all coming out on 4K tomorrow, uh, that week, along with Rogue One, because that was the other one that had been on 4K. Solo is already out in 4K. The last Jedi was out in 4K, and the new one coming out is already on 4K. So um, there are a lot of exclusives for that movie next week. Best Buy's got a 4K steelbook. Uh, Target has a digibook. Walmart's got some sort of digibook as well. I know I've personally ordered the steelbook from uh, Best Buy, and I've ordered the, the, the digibook from Target on that one. Um, also next week we do have VFW coming out on Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K. Mr. Robot Season 4 and The Complete Season are both coming out next week on Blu-ray and DVD. We have, uh, The Current War coming out next week on Blu-ray and DVD. Stout Factor's releasing the Snoop Dogg classic Bones next week. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome is releasing Hell Riders, Dead Time. And I actually just ordered, um... There, as a matter of fact, Vinegar Syndrome just had this big sale. And I actually ordered Hell Riders, so hopefully I'll get that towards the end of this week. Um, FYE is releasing two Steelbooks next week. The Better Off Dead was bumped back, so it's coming out next week along with Tommy Boy. So they'll have two exclusive Steelbooks next, next week. Um, Arrow next week is re releasing the Ringu Collection. That's the original Ring. And the, the two other movies after that, that's all released in the box set next week. And then also... Um, Vinegar Syndrome is releasing the Angel Collection, again, but this time separately instead of in a box set. So that all comes out next week. Let's see here. I'm making sure I got my notes. Yep, that's all next week. Now, um, before I get into announcements, um, a couple things I have noticed. It looks like since all the theaters are currently closed right now throughout, throughout the country, as far as I know, I know in my area they're all gone. They're all closed. If you've noticed, they're putting movies up on demand more. So, like, recently, movies that were in th currently in theaters, like The Invisible Man, um, The Hunt, um, Onward, those are all up on video demand now. So we have a chance to see those while we're out of the theaters. But I think with this being said, we're going to see a lot more of these movies come on video on demand really quickly. But I think the release dates for DVD are going to be stretched out further. I think it's just because they're, they're going to want to recoup some money somehow. At least that's my theory anyways. Um, looking over the announcements, there wasn't a whole lot announced. There was a couple cool things announced, but it wasn't like a bunch of major stuff announced for the announced. Um, 
But um, so just be on the lookout. It might slow down for a while. But with that being said, there's also been a lot of sales recently. And I'm actually going to post a video later this week. Um, I got my other two Kino uh, orders in. Plus, I also got my order in from Blue Underground because Blue Underground M MVD, I think it was, or something like that. A company had a sale on Blue Underground titles, so I got that. I got, I got that in. Um, and then next week, I'm going to post another video because I did jump on the Severn sale that's currently going on right now. The Vinegar Syndrome sale is currently going on right now, so I got stuff from both those sales. That'll be in next week. Along with, I got some stuff from uh, one other company, too, that had a sale going on. So, unfortunately, Warner Bros. had the four for... Four for 44 sale went up next week, but they closed their operation down because they're here in California. So that sale, I hopefully that sale will come back because there was like five titles on there I wanted. But we should be starting to see a lot more sales coming along because these companies got to keep themselves afloat while this is all going on. And fortunately, at least shipping is still working. Matter of fact, I did get a title. I was surprised. I ordered it from Eureka, ordered it from the UK uh, a week and a half ago, and it literally showed up five days after I ordered it, which was amazing because I thought we'd shut the boards down for a lot of that stuff. But... You can still get stuff from the UK, so that's really good for right now. But um, I just think you're going to see a slowdown of titles coming out, but you're going to see a lot more sales uh, for these companies. So be on the lookout for that. And there's been a couple really good sales. I picked up a couple things that I'm really stoked on that are coming in now that, I've been, that have been on my list for two and three years that I'm finally able to get. But with that being said, let's talk about what was announced this week. The biggest title announced, well, there's two big titles and a lot of other little stuff, but the biggest title announced uh, this week was Bad Boys for Life, the third movie in the Bad Boys series that's coming out on April 2nd. Um, there is going to be a 4K steelbook from Best Buy, because I had the, the, the steelbook for the other two movies from Best Buy, so I was kind of crossing my fingers. Um, so that's coming out on the 2nd of April. And then the other big title is Sonic the Hedgehog has been announced for the 19th of May. Again, Bad Boys for Life was was slowly leaving theaters as this all started. Sonic the Hedgehog was just in theaters for a couple weeks, so they're kind of getting that one out fast. But I just feel like they're going to stretch this out a little bit further. Um, let's see here. The also announced was the personal history of David Copperfield. That'll be on the 15th of June. We have um, WWE WrestleMania 36. Interesting story about WrestleMania. It was actually filmed this year with no crowd. Um, I didn't see it, but I did watch one of their Raw tapings. It was really weird to watch a show where they're screaming at the audience and there's no audience there. But that will be out on the 12th of May. We also have Robert the Bruce, which is kind of the sequel to Braveheart. And that will be coming out June 2nd. Um, let's see here. A movie called The Rhythm Section will be coming out May 5th. And then the last one, the one I'm most excited about, the one I'm really excited about is Star Trek Short Treks is coming out the 2nd of June. If you know what Star Trek Short Treks is, so what the CBS has done is in between the season, Discovery season, Star Trek Discovery seasons, and actually in between Discovery and Picard, they release these little 5 to 10 minute episodes. They're just small little episodes of just little random things. One had Captain Pike in it. One was about the the Discovery being abandoned. They've had One was about Harry Mudd. They've had all these little small episodes, and they're all putting them all into one collection onto one desk and putting it out. I'm excited about it because there's a couple of those short stories that were really, really good that I really liked. One about this little creature that kind of was traveling through and living this whole lifespan. You got to see stuff in the original series. I thought it was really cool. It was all animated. It was really neat. So they're finally going to release all those, which I'm really stoked about. Um, they've also announced they're going to be doing a, a, um, a Captain Pike series, which I'm really excited about. And it looks like they may be doing a 7 of 9 series now, too. If you haven't seen Star Trek Picard, watch just one episode. I guarantee you'll be hooked. But that's all was coming out. What was announced... Um, what I want to go into now, before I show you what I picked up new release wise this week, I did want to tell you that I, the videos I'll be having coming out this week. So like I said, I will be doing my unboxing, my pickup videos from the two, the Kino Lober sale and the Blue Underground sale. Um, I'm also going to be doing some movie reviews on a couple uh, couple movies. I did do a couple video on demand movies. I did watch The Hunt and I did watch Invisible Man. So I'll be putting reviews out for both those movies this week. I'm also going to be doing some DVD reviews this week since I've been watching a lot more movies since I've had this time off. So I'll be doing some DVD reviews. So be looking out for a lot more content. I don't have a lot going on right now because I'm kind of trapped at home. So I plan on putting a lot more content out. So hopefully um, you guys are okay with that. And be again, before I show this, I want to say one last thing and that is thank you. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I passed the 300 mark on subscribers this week, which is a big milestone for me. I don't, I can't convey enough how excited that makes me that I finally passed 300. Oddly enough, my lucky number is three. So I'm really excited that I passed the 300 mark. It Again, it's a goal I've said this before. It's a goal I never thought I would ever attain. Um, I do this for fun. Um, I'm not getting anything out of it. I'm not making any money. I'm doing that. I just do this for fun because I like to talk to people about movies and I like to drop what little movie knowledge I have and I like to just show people what I got. So 
I'm super excited about it. Thank you guys all so much. This really means a lot to me. It's because of you guys watch my videos, sharing my videos, and um, commenting on my videos that I've gotten 300 subscribers now. So thank you so much. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome aboard and thank you for subscribing. It really does mean a lot to me. Now, with that being said, let me show you what I did pick up next la this week. I actually picked up four titles. Go figure. I was like, okay, if I'm going to be at home, I might as well watch something. So I picked up Black Christmas. Yes, I know I've heard about it, a lot of bad things about it, but I had a bunch of Best Buy coupons. So it ended up cost me five bucks. So I figured five bucks, I don't like it, whatever. But I picked up Black Christmas. Um, this is a remake of a remake. So there you go. Um, I also picked up Richard Jewell. Because I'm a big fan of Clint Eastwood, and I do love Clint Eastwood movies, and I remember this when it all went down back in the late '90s. So I'm kind of curious to see how it all how it all goes. So I picked up Richard Jewell, and then the last two I picked up, I did get from Target. I did get the Red Sun Red Sun Steel book, like I told you I was going to. I think this picture is cool. This picture on this side is even cool, and I'm not the biggest Batman fan. I'm a bigger Superman fan. I just think this this artwork on the back here looks amazing. You got Lex Luthor, you got Batman, you got Wonder Woman, and they're all in Soviet gear. So it just, it looks awesome. So I did get Red Sun Steelbook. And then the last thing I did get was, yes, I did get Jumanji Steelbook for the, the latest movie. Another really cool Steelbook. It looks awesome. Got the monkeys in the back. Um, I dig, I was stoked to get this. This is kind of hard to find too, but I'm, I'm stoked to get the, to get this. So that is what I picked up new release last week. It wasn't a, it wasn't a whole lot of titles because I got a bunch of stuff in from um, from sales I had been buying on. So I kind of pulled back on new releases. But um, that is it. Um, I do want to announce one other thing too. I read today that Vinegar Syndrome has acquired the rights to a bunch of MGM titles that span the 70s through 90s. So um, be on the lookout for that. The first title, one of the first titles they announced is Dolly Dearest, which has never been available on Blu-ray before as far as I know. They're coming out with a special edition of that, but they did pick up a sizable, cat, apparently a sizable portion of MGM's catalog. So hopefully some of these other MGM movies that I've never seen around before, Treasure of Four Crowns, I believe it was MGM, may actually come out at some point. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But that is it. Um, I'm sorry to take up all your time. This is a little bit longer than it normally is, but thank you guys all for watching. I would click the like button down below if you enjoyed the video. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos by who? Me, Big D. The, subscribe, the little bell will notify you do put up new videos. Again, thank you guys all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Everybody take care. Be safe out there. Um, and hunting-wise, my hunting's all been online lately. So if you do like I've been doing, good luck on your, on your movie hunting online. Every store that I normally go to is closed now, so I can't really go out and hunt. But always keep hunting. Always keep looking for those deals because you know what? You never know what you're going to find. So everybody take care, and as always, live long and prosper. Bye.